Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will show you how you can use your smartphone as a virtual camera inside Unreal Engine 5.6 to create awesome camera movements for cinematics or cutscenes in your game. Like this. Here I just moved my Android smartphone around without even standing up from my seat and recorded it directly into the sequencer. I used the stabilization settings of the VCAM to make it look like a gimbal shot. The environment I used is the Carpenter's Workshop from the Lears Studios. It was one of the free assets of the month on FAB in April this year. But to get started we need to enable a couple of plugins first. We need LiveLink for the connection to the phone and of course the virtual camera and the virtual camera core. If you want to use the take recorder, you can enable it as well. But in this tutorial we will record the movement directly onto the sequencer's timeline. On the smartphone we need the Unreal VCAM app. It's available for both iOS and Android devices. If you open up the app for the first time, you need to enter your IP address. If you don't know it, just hit Windows R, type CMD and then type ipconfig. Now you'll see your IPv4 address, which you need to enter in the app on your phone. For this tutorial, we will use another free asset pack from fab.com. It's called Apartment Tech Props and it looks a little bit like my room back in the 80s. <laughs> Just kidding. Now we can add a virtual camera actor to the scene. Click the Add button, go to Virtual Production and select VCAM Actor. To check if the connection works, select the VCAM in the outliner and enable it. Then click the connect button on your phone. Make sure your phone's camera is not blocked by anything. Now you should be able to move the camera inside Unreal Engine by moving your phone. At the end of this video I will give you a complete overview of the VCAM's functions and buttons. But for now let's move on. Create a level sequence. Drag and drop the VCAM actor onto the timeline. To get the best possible result, you need to set up the frame rate. Open the project settings, go to Engine and General Settings. Scroll down and set the Generate Default Timecode Frame Rate to your desired FPS. Let's use 30 FPS for this tutorial. Also set the frame rate of the level sequence to 30 FPS. If you want to use the stabilization tool of the VCAM, go to its details panel and search for the modifier stack index 7. If you reset these two values, you will get a very smooth camera movement. If you hit this record button, the take recorder will open up. But we want to record directly into the sequence. So select the VCAM in the sequencer and hit the record button down here. Hit record and after the 3 seconds countdown, move your phone. After the recording is finished, disable the VCAM. To get the correct aspect ratio, just enable these tracks before playback. If your playback is not as smooth as you want it to be, here's a tip to make it even smoother. Select the transform track of the VCAM, switch to curves, and select all keyframes by pressing CTRL and A. Then click on the filter button, choose Smart Reduce, leave the settings at their default 
and hit apply. Now the camera movement is smooth as butter. Indeed, there is a smoothing tool built directly into the VCAM. By clicking on this thumbnail, you open up the Take Manager. If you click here, a slider will appear that lets you smooth out the recorded movement. However, I couldn't get it to work correctly. Sometimes all the keyframes messed up, sometimes my Unreal Engine kept freezing. So I decided to show you a method that actually works. Ok, finally here is an overview of the VCAM functions and buttons. You can change every setting directly on your phone or inside Unreal. On the left side you'll find all the camera settings. This is literally the user interface of the Camera Actors Details panel. The first one is the Lens tool. You can adjust the lens preset, the focal length, the focal distance and the iris. The next tool allows you to set the focus method, such as tracking, manual or disable focus. Also you can use the tap to focus button and blend in the focus plane. Here you can set the film back. The ISO tool allows you to adjust the exposure, the ISO and the exposure compensation. You can also turn on the zebra function, which shows the overexposed parts of the image. The next one is the near clipping plane which defines how close objects can be to the camera before they are no longer shown. And the last one on the left side is the overlay tool, which lets you blend in some guideline presets such as safe zones or the rule of thirds, including their opacity. On the right side, the first button is kind of a take manager. It shows all your level sequences. The second tool is the bookmark button, which lets you store and recall several camera positions. To add a bookmark, hit the plus button here. To delete a bookmark, click and hold the minus button. You can switch between bookmarks using the arrows or by clicking the thumbnails. The next button pauses the camera movement. This button locks the camera's rotation. Here you can increase or decrease the speed of the camera movement and adjust the speed of the joysticks on the phone. I will come back to the joysticks in a second. The next one is the tilt offset. The zero button resets the camera's position to zero 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 and the following one resets the VCAM to the position of an assigned cine camera actor. The next button switches to local space. This is the tool for spline-based camera movements. This one is for multi-user sessions, I guess. And the last button toggles the viewport symbols on and off. Last but not least, in the top menu you can assign the VCAM to an existing Cine camera actor. And with this tool menu you can lock and unlock several axis or camera settings. On your smartphone display you can use two invisible joysticks to move the camera. On the left side of the screen you can move forward, backward, right and left. On the right side of the screen you can rotate the camera left and right and move it up and down. Also you can zoom in and out with two fingers like you usually do it with photos on your phone. And if you move two fingers across the screen, you can teleport to a different location. Ok, now you know the most important tools of the VCAM. I leave a link in the description 
if you want even more detailed information directly from EPIC. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!